Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome back to the channel. I am, of course, your host, Jayboard, episode 26 of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play series, and this one's all about beacons. We already have the Iron Beacon. In this episode, we're going to grab two more, being the Gold and the Emerald. In last episode, you know we built our amazing Gold Farm on top of the roof of the Nether. That thing's awesome. I'm actually standing in it right now. I want to show you something. Check this out. I made a little bit of an improvement to it, but here it is. Yes, we are right underneath the Gold Farm, and I took it upon myself to make this incredible auto sorter yes this is just like my auto sorter that's in my massive storage system i got iron nuggets i got gold bars and i got rotten flesh yes i'm going to be keeping the rotten flesh it's going to help me with emeralds things like that why not i might as well use it now over here is where all of the gold swords go into this chest and up here there is a dropper and there's lava right in there behind this wall don't need the golden swords not worth it waste of fuel things like that so like I said, I've been doing this for a little bit, and the results are pretty good. Everything works on the sorting system side, but we don't have any wither skeleton skulls, so we're going to need to go into the nether, grab some wither skeleton skulls by just fighting the withers, take down two more withers, grab ourselves those beacons. So, first things first, let's get the gold. Now, in order to make a full beacon, yes, we are going to be making full beacons, you're going to need 164 blocks of a single item iron gold emerald things like that so we're gonna seriously afk here at the gold farm get cracking on some gold and once we have enough then we're gonna take on some wither skeletons well level 227 now so i think that i'll have enough gold at this point so let's go check okay so i got two shulker boxes here one is the red one which is typically my beacon box as you can see i got my iron beacon now i have been using some of the iron so i gotta pick up some more i'm missing about 12 iron blocks but anyway, now the gold one is for the gold. Now let's check it out. As you can see, this is enough for a full beacon right here. Boom, boom, boom. So that's our full gold beacon. Now, just for that one AFK session, this is all of the extra gold that I have. Over a stack of gold blocks. I'm telling you guys, this farm and this auto sorter is incredible. And I can use all the rotten flesh and sell it to a bunch of clerics to get more emeralds to, in theory, get my emerald one. But... That's not what we're doing right now. Now we need to get six Wither Skeleton Skulls. Okay, so I'm gonna head back home, get some materials, like some potions and everything so I can see better, grab some armor, and get ready to actually take on some Wither Skeletons. Also need to make a sugarcane farm because I am sick of having to manually chop down all of this sugarcane. I wanna make one that's just extreme because with sugarcane comes paper and with paper becomes emeralds. Especially because I have all those cartographers down in my little... A massive villager trading farm okay guys what's up i am here for some potions and look i brought all the rotten flesh from the farm we got three full shulker boxes full of them and i'm gonna trade with all of these guys when i need to get the emeralds for my emerald beacon i'm ready to hunt some wither skeletons now we know that this wither fortress is not good for wither skeletons so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to fly over here because i know that there was one around this way I'm pretty sure that was a lot better. I think this is it. Oh, diamonds. diamonds. Where the wheel of skeletons at? I've seen a lot of magma cubes. There's nothing in here. It's like a dead fortress. Not a single wither skeleton. Aha, another fortress in a soul sand valley. First try. Nope, coal. I'm going to kill all the blaze, too, just to make room for the skeletons. And I can always fly away and come back, but I don't want to hit a pigman. Oh, no. I just said I don't want to hit a piglin. I just said it. Well, I'm going to chill out here for a few minutes. Okay, back from my little... Oh, God! Where did he come from? Look at how many blazes there are, and now I'm on fire. Come on, give me one. Oh, shit! <laughs> Clutch! I hit him with a carrot. I'm hitting him with a carrot. No! These stupid piglin. There is so many mobs here. Look at all of the blaze in there. Okay, don't need you. Keep going. This is a good, this is a great, great wither force. So we're going to get our skulls here. Oh, I already got another one. I don't even know when I got it. Whoa! Oh. 
There's blazes. Oh my gosh, a whole squad just spawned. Somebody drop the skull. Drop the skull. Drop the skull. Drop the skull. Let's go. I'm on fire. I don't even care. Let's go. Six wither skeleton skulls. Boom. So here we are back in this door system where I need to grab some soul sand so I can kill two withers. But first, I gotta make a potion. Now you might be asking, what kind of potion are you making? Are you making a strength potion? A resistance potion? A regeneration potion? But none of those are right. I am making a very special potion when it comes to this wither fight. Splash potions of poison. Now you might be asking, well, why would you make splash potions of poison? Can the wither even get poisoned? It's not for the wither. For the past couple days, I've been doing this to a bunch of chickens and getting myself tons of chicken eggs. It'll all make sense. So with my shulker box full of chicken eggs, it's time to head to the end. It's very loud down there. And that is because of this. Yes, tons and tons of chickens have been down here. I've been throwing chicken eggs down here relentlessly and the wither's already set up. That's because I plan to trap the wither in bedrock and, in theory, have him kill all these chickens so I can get wither roses. Let me show you how to do it. I come along to this side down here and chuck them at this wall like this. See? And they hatch chickens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck some potions of poison on these chickens, wait for them to get down to pretty much one heart or very, very low damage, throw that final wither skeleton skull on, and then watch the wither just basically die. So... Let's give it a shot. I've never done this before, so let's hope I don't poison myself. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, the horror. Oh, the agony. Run, 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 run. Whoa, that lagged so much. Wow, but see, he is in... It's so loud in my ears. But see, he is trapped inside the bedrock, and he's suffocating and basically killing himself. But let's make the process a little bit quicker. Smack him. With a smite five sword, it goes like clockwork. And boom, just like that, he's all done. We got nine stacks of wither roses and the nether star just from that one endeavor. Everybody get off of my platform. I need to place these. Okay, chicken genocide. Yep, you guys asked for it. Goodbye. Having smite five really helps. Let's craft both of our beacons. Boom, perfect. And now all we have to do is the emeralds. Let's put these bad boys to good use. Guys, who would have thought that the best villager for making emeralds isn't the Fletcher? No, 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 no. It's these guys. The Stonemason. I'm telling you, it's like printing my own money. Check this out. I just have a bunch of stone in my inventory, things like that, for clearing out caves and everything. And I just walk down the line and... Boom. 32 emeralds right there. 64. I mean, one emerald for a piece of stone? It's... It's insane. Look, I'm just gonna go down the line. And from all the mining and digging and things that I have, I have endless amounts of this stuff. Well, not the andesite and the granite and things like that, but stone, no problem. That was one trip down the line, and I have five and a half stacks of emeralds for just one trip. And these guys, look, look, he just reset his trades. Oh, let's go back around. And I think I can do this like three, probably three times a day. I already have more than enough emeralds to assemble our beacons. So let's get to building. Okay, so just like in real estate, location, location, location. Where am I going to put these beacons? How about over there in that area, we make a designated beacon platform for one of every beacon because eventually I want to get one of every beacon. Eventually, all right? I know which one we're all thinking that's going to take a 50 million years, but... I'll do some Twitch streams and things like that. So, so now that we have our location, now we just need to actually build the stand and then build the beacons. But before we do that, you already know that we have to add our 200 wheat seeds to our gigantic wheat field for this episode. So let's get going. If you guys want to see how big this wheat field gets, make sure to subscribe to the video. I add 200 every single episode and this thing's going to get huge. Now let's officially get back to the build. Okay, so I'm thinking in this area right here, I'm going to make some sort of monument platform where I'm going to house all of my beacons. So, let's do that. Okay, so something like this. This is where I'm going to put all of my beacons. Three of them being right now, two of them coming later. So, let's start with the golden one.
I seem to have made a mistake. I made the entire thing, the entire structure too small. Five, six, seven, eight. I made the entire, the entire monument too small. Now that that's officially done, let's make our beacons. I would mess up the final block. Boom. Okay. So this is one beacon down. Now I also wanted to do something with the light as well. There we go. Check that out yellow for gold so perfect and again i mess up on the final layer boom perfect okay finally i did it without messing up and there is our final beacon check that out wow and just like that boom we got beacons on beacons on beacons now all we need is a full diamond one and yes the netherite one which i'm not saying i will get anytime soon my gosh but the diamond one, probably pretty quick. So, I think I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching episode 26 of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play. I've been your host, Jayvort. But don't worry, the next video is just on ahead. Have a good one.